What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we might run a stream later, so make sure get ready for that. We'll see how it goes. And also, man, if you guys don't follow me on Twitter, make sure to follow me on Twitter. We are doing some MT giveaways as well as selling MT on Xbox and PS4. Make sure to follow my Twitter. If we get 110 likes on this video, I'm going to drop an insane MT making method video for you guys. And also, man, before we get into it, um, obviously drop that sub. We're getting closer and closer to 8K. We just hit 7K thanks to you guys. We gained 200 subs over the last day. You guys are goaded. I love you. Without further ado, man, let's talk about these insane hidden Galaxy Opals, in my opinion, that are absolutely insane. Now, listen, they're not actually Galaxy Opals. They're cards, in my opinion, that pretty much play like Galaxy Opals, if not are better than some Galaxy Opals. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start with this card because he's my favorite card in the game, and he's honestly so freaking tall. You guys probably know who it is. Bro, it's this Manu Bowl. We're talking about a 7-7 seven, seven pink diamond that is around 50-something K. And honestly, not only that, you could snipe him out for 40k. I sniped out 20 over the last day. He's been popping up like crazy. This card is so good. His release, the stats, and the height, obviously. This card's going to take down any center in the game. At 7'7", seven, seven, he's 200 pounds, bro. I weigh more than him. He's 200 pounds at 7'7". Seven, seven. He is literally the link monster. Listen, if you guys need an opal, you guys are facing an opal, opal ball, opal taco fall. This card is going to stop them. This card might have like a 50 speed. But since he's so tall, he gets around the court in seconds. He doesn't have a 50 speed, I promise you. If you don't believe me, check out my gameplay. He literally goes down the court in one second. This card is absolutely insane. Um, this card, in my opinion, is a Galaxy Opal. He could shoot. His release is straight money. You literally have to hold X for one second and it's green. This card is insane. His 99 block, his 7-7 seven, seven length. He's literally an Opal. And he has 22 all of fame badges, bro. I'm telling you, bro, please draw this card. Without further ado, man, let's get into some other cards. Obviously, bro, this Isaac Bunga, bro. This Isaac Bunga is absolutely insane. I've seen him stop Opals. I used him myself. I've stopped out, literally stopped out Giannis Antetokounmpo and Ben Simmons fully Evo with this card. He has great defense. He's tall. He's a tall point guard. And honestly, this knife filter. He's just so good, and I can't believe they made meme cards this good. This card is 6'9 at point guard. This card is a budget baller. You guys need to get him. He is an insane Galaxy Opal, bro. I'm telling you right now, try him out. The release is money. He's a meme card. They released a meme card as an Opal. It's kind of crazy. Let's get into the next card. There's so many cards that they have released that are absolutely insane. And honestly, pretty much every new card in here is OP. Like, this Scalabrine is pretty much Clay Day. He's so wet. I don't know, understand how, but yo, this bulb one as well. I think I have in my auctions. No, he's in my collection now. This card, bro, Bobon Maranovic is disgusting. And also, man, sell your Bam Abadayo if you have one. He's going to keep dropping. Bro, they gave 94 95. This card, you could shoot, bro. He's 7 3. He could stop a lot of centers in his game. I'm guessing he's a 99. 97 block. He's going to be able to stop a ton of centers. He's taller than Kareem by one inch. He could possibly stop Kareem. And honestly, he always has good animations. Even his silver card or whatever card he has, the low card. He has really good animations. This card deserved a moment. He had a really good game. They didn't give it to him. So now they just gave him this diamond. And honestly, bro, this card's really good. He has 87-3. He has really, really good stats. And like, he's just, he's just an, he's an amazing card, bro. At 7-3 for like 15, 20K. You really can't, can't go wrong. And honestly... Let's keep going over it. I just want to throw out this card because this card, honestly, is a Galaxy Oval, in my opinion. Um, he's kind of expensive on the expensive side, but, bro, um, this card, I don't know why it doesn't pop up still. Bro, Tyler Hero Pink Diamond is the snatchback god. If you got, if you need a guy that's going to shoot trays in anybody's face, this is the card right here. This three-point shot is a 98. He's literally better than Prime Ray Allen. 
And this card is literally 100k. I'm telling you, bro, this card is the snatchback god. If you play Triple Threat a lot, this is the card you want to use. I use him, Simmons, and Giannis as my Triple Threat cards. All you have to do is run fast, step back, and shoot a three. It's a green every time. I've never seen a better release in this game, ever. This card right here, you gotta pick him up. He's goaded. Make sure to try him out. My opinion, the best shooting guard in the game. Obviously, people are gonna disagree. I don't really care, bro. He's literally goaded. Um, let's get into some others. There's so many cheap pink diamonds that are OP. Avery Badley's one of them, bro. The three-point shot's there. He has a really good release, and honestly, I recommend you guys do pick him up. But let's get into some diamonds, because obviously, diamonds are a lot cheaper than pink diamonds. Jay Williams is one of them. He's got 99 speed. He is small. But obviously, man, this Big Z sitting at 7'3". He can shoot. I versed him. This one kid used Big Z like he was freaking LeBron James, bro. This kid hop step with him he shot threes with him he actually bought me he shot like 26 in my mouth i'm pretty good at defense too that's probably what i'm good at offensive i usually get clamped on offense but defense bro defense is what i'm good at this kid went off with me with big z um i tried baiting the pass all game this kid decided to just pull trays and obviously rob sampson is way too slow to catch the three ball sometimes and yo, this Big Z is the, the, the deal, bro. He is the deal. And he could possibly start Bow Bowl, Taco Fall, and all of them. Obviously, he's slow. But yo, give him a try. We're going to go back to the throwbacks, bro. This card is still absolutely insane. And honestly, I'm going to go over the new cards, bro. These new Spotlight Sim cards are insane. They're literally all good. Both bridges are insane. Miles Bridges, obviously, this car is still being used like crazy. He's got the speed. He's got the dunk. He's got the three. He's got the Hall of Fame clamps. He's got the Hall of Fame range. He's got everything. This card is insane. He has a 92 block, bro. I'm telling you, bro, this card's insane. And obviously, the new McCall Bridges, the, I think they're brothers. I don't know. Don't quote me. But, yo, McCall Bridges is a baller. I uh, forgot who posted a gameplay with him. He's insane. I used him myself. His 86 offense isn't actually true. It's really like a 99. He's got dunking. He's got threes. I believe he has Hall of Fame range or maybe gold range. Let's see if he has the range. Doesn't look like he has Hall of Fame range. Doesn't look like... Oh, does he not have gold range? Oh, he has gold range with gold quick draw. This card's a demon. 29 Hall of Fame badges, bro. My Melo is 39. He has literally... He has third, 20 more badges than Pink Dye Rig Barry we got for free. This card's sick. Pink Dye Rig Barry saw it, That card is doo-doo. But yo, McCall Bridges for that cheap is obviously money. We're going to go over some Amis. And this card, bro, you guys probably know this card. It's Lance Stevenson. They did just drop the pink diamond, but this Amethyst card is just as good. And hopefully we can compare. Let's see. So this Lance Stevenson, I do have him on the squad. Of course, I can't compare him to Lance. But yeah, um, let's just compare him. Because like the badges, he has only nine Hall of Fame badges. But this card hits different, and he's absolutely insane. Um, try that card. Ruby Thon Maker, Ruby Jeff Green, bro. All the rubies they're gonna release here from now on are absolutely insane. Jeff Green, bro. I've been running with a bunch of squad lately. This card is the man. He is shoot. He, he literally clamps up any card. I versed one opal squad. He he ran five opals and all bronzes. I had my budget squad. Honestly, didn't lose to him. But this Jeff Green actually showed up. He dropped twenty something on the game. This card's really good. Really, really good. And honestly. Really good for running on triple threat. And another guard that's really good and you should use on triple threat is Stan Maker, bro. He is insane. He is a budget baller. He's cheap. Very cheap. And I love him, bro. He's seven foot. You can run him at power forward. He could shoot. He could dunk. He could block. This card's a beast all around. And he's actually decently fast at a 77 speed with that height. Something different. I really wish he showed up in the NBA because if we got an Opal Thon Maker card, that would be disgusting. This card's obviously really good, man. I really hope you guys do try him out. This Tim Hardaway Jr., if you want a budget Ray Allen, bro, a guy who could shoot from everywhere, you guys could also check out my gameplay on him. This card is so damn good. Um, uh, I guess I accidentally put in his father. Um, Tim Hardaway Jr., bro. Just an insane card. I mean, this card's so good. 99-3, 94-3, but yo, the animations on this card. He has the Hall of Fame range. He has an insane jump shot. If you didn't check out my gameplay, check it out. He's a green bean. He's a green bean. And honestly, that's really all I got for the video. Like, straight up, he's just such a good card. So many good cards. I probably missed a ton, but these cards that I showed you are probably one of my favorites. There's just so many. Obviously, Lamar Odom's still good. Diamond Kobe's still good. But you guys understand that these cards are probably one of the most OPs in the game. Alonzo Mourning's another one that's really good. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I'm just saying that those guys could really help you win some games. And they could 
stop opals and pink diamonds so hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to try out those cards let me know what you got what i missed and what you guys think are the best cards in the game but yeah without further ado man that's all i got for the video stay tuned for more content i mean,